Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve O. Oh. Oh. I'm a wild boy, fuck, I ain't I need O. Oh. Hey, what's going on guys, Avenger Vest here. Um, I was just doing, actually I was just posing around this carnage. I really love this carnage. I was posing around while I was watching Plastic and Paint by John Connor. Very awesome um, ACBA artist. I was basically watching him posing carnage at the same time. And I was like, you know what would be cool? If carnage like escape like an aim factory or like aim lab. So that's basically what it is. That's how, like, sometimes I had my displays. Um, before I start with this display, um, before I became good at ACBA, which was um, until this year, this is where I'm, I'm been getting good at ACBA because before I just sucked. So what I used to do um, when I came up with an idea, I would look at someone else's display and put it in my form, which now I can see that's kind of messed up. You have to have your own, like, form you have to have your own ideas you can't just take somebody's idea and say oh this is mine i came up with this idea no no I, I, you can't do that it's really messed up but um so i came up with this idea you know carnage is escaping this aim lab um you can see this aim soldier he's like get this thing off me and um this is that's the back piece to carnage um so i'm gonna show off all these props um people ask me where i get my props i get them from figures and I also get them from comic book stores, old, older figures from comic book stores. Um, this I did not get from a comic book store. This is um, um, Silly Sludge from the dollar store. It says it right there. This is an older one. It's not the newer one. I'll show off the newer one. It's over there in the corner. Um, he just fell. Right here, this is um, the box, two of them from... Um, the Spider-Man Classics Tarantula. This is from um, the Magnetic Spider-Man. He he has he basically had this like New York pole. It had um, a Spider-Man flag. I took that thing apart. I still have it, but I took this thing and it looks like um, a lab container. So that's why I keep it here. Right there, that's um the Mafex Batman RPG. Um, those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you guys um have seen this. I was doing a haul, and um, I showed off this custom gun that I made for Master Chief. And this is this was um, an old cable gun that I used to have as a kid um, from the old X Men show. And I basically painted this. I dry brushed it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let me get it back in there. Whatever. I already took the pixels. So it doesn't matter. Um, this is from the Spider-Man Classics Man-Wolf. Um, that's a really cool figure. It's just, I don't know what I can do with that. I might do a pick with it. Um, so, uh, so it basically came with this gimmick, which looks cool. It's just, I don't know why it came with the figure, because this is what it does. And the, um, I think his eyes would light up and something, something like that. So, it looks like a lab piece, so that's why I have it here. Let me put it gently. Um, these are from Halloween. It's from my local pharmacy. Um, when Halloween was there, I was um, I was feeling really sick, and I was um, getting my medication. And I looked right next to me. I said, "Holy crap! Those look cool." And this is basically what it was. I think I have some more right by me. Let me see. I can't. I think I left it somewhere else, but. It came with like nine of these, so I have four of them on the table. Two orange, two purple. It looks really cool. And this is a WWE table. Um, this is um, basically this, but it's a newer version. Version. It has its like um, science logo. I really like that. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutagen thing. And my my local mall has like the yellow one. I do want to get that. I don't know. I forgot how much these are. So if I see it again, I will pick it up. Um, it's a Master Chief um, Crytonic Cube. Um, before 
this aim soldier fell. He was standing on one foot. Let me, hold on. Let me fix this. He's standing on one foot. It's kind of leaning, but before it was standing on one foot, if you guys can see that. Right there, that's um, a note from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, this is um, a Do Not Enter sign from the Marvel Select Sabretooth. And obviously Carnage right here. The lighting I used was um, natural lighting from outside. And um, this little light. So Carnage eye, Carnage's eye was like be more reflective. Um, because um, the reason why I did that is because um, let me focus the camera. On this side, it's really like pearly. I really like that. And then on this side, it's a little messed up. Has a little, um, a little scratch right there. So I wanted the lighting to um, um, kill that. So that's why I did that. And this is basically like a black poster board and a white poster board. And when I was taking the picture, I noticed that um, the outside of my room was showing back here. So what I did was I took this from over here because I had two over here. And I put it over here even though I didn't want to. It looked better. So that's why. You got to pay attention to the stuff like that. So because you can't just take the pick like that and then look and see that stuff is not contained like like one time I was like taking a picture like back when I was bad at ACBA I was taking it like that and I noticed that my corner was messed up So you got to pay attention to the little stuff like that and it'll make your pick a lot better I cannot stand when I see pictures when, when they're not contained Even like displays I, I, I mess up sometimes with them not containing my displays but um, I, I usually fix it after. So, yeah, that's basically the um, the picture I have on going here. Um, so, yeah, I took it with my phone, and it came out really nice. All right, guys, um, have a great day. Um, stay safe, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Just messing around with some of these mini mates I found. Um, mini mates are pretty cool in my opinion. They don't get a, a lot of love. Um, they're they're detailed. They look like the comic characters, just not something I would collect. These are just some older ones I found in my um, box. I decided to pose these around. Um, you got Havoc and Polaris. Um, I really wish they would make a new Havoc, uh, more modern. I like the one that he's in, um, Uncanny, um, Avengers in, but, like, like, more X-Men modern. And I really wish they would make a custom, I mean, not, I mean, a Marvel Legends Polaris, because I did make a custom, um, what do you call it, Polaris, and that came out pretty nice. It's just I wish it would be an official Polaris figure. That would be pretty cool. But, yeah, um, very simple. Not everything has to be dynamic. You can just do something simple, just like this. Um, you know, not ACBA doesn't have to be all dynamic and everything. It just has to be like you just have to try. Don't be like lazy and stuff. So, yeah. All right, guys. Take care.